Hi my friends, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would go ahead and do a embossing uh, powder comparison for you guys. I had a few of you ask me if I would do a video specifically on the rose gold embossing powders and if I would compare the two that I have now, which is the Summons to Stamp compared to the new Lawn Fawn. And um, I said in the Lawn Fawn haul video that this embossing powder I believe is comparable to the one that the Ton Stamps sells. So I thought I would go ahead and um, stamp out a swatch uh, on a, st a stamp and then put this embossing powder on top and the same for this one and see what the two colors look like if there's any difference between the two and, and what have you and I thought I'd go ahead and do the same for the white because that's the one other, the other one that I bought um, my more used my white embossing powder is a Hero Arts white, so I thought I'd go ahead and compare it to the Hero Arts. So um, hopefully this will be helpful for you guys, and that this will give you a little bit more of an idea of how these new embossing powders are and what the quality is, that kind of thing. So what I've got here, I've just got some pieces of black cardstock. I'm going to do this with the um, white embossing powder first, and the stamp that I'm using is like a little heart stamp. This actually comes from the Lawn Fawn Heart Swatch little die and uh, stamp set and I thought I would go ahead I wanted to do a solid stamp and I thought this would be just a perfect thing to use it for so I'm going to go ahead and prep both of my pieces of cardstock you know obviously anytime that you do embossing whether it be for swatches or whatever that you um, uh, that you prep it first with an anti-static powder tool whether it be a powder tool or a powder bag whichever one that you have so I'm going to go ahead and take my Versamark ink and I'm going to get my stamp here really good well and inked this is the first time that I've used this stamp so hopefully by using the Versamark it will be really helpful to get a really good impression of this heart Stamp this down, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the other one on the other side. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle with the Hero Arts on the left side. And then use the Lawn Fawn on the right. So we go ahead and get my little filter out. Since this is not in a container like my other uh, one is, I have to do it like in a filter, like a coffee filter or a piece of paper or whatever. So let me go ahead and grab this and sprinkle this on. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put that to the side and then I'll go ahead and heat set them so let me go ahead and heat set them All right, let me go ahead and wipe off the powder residue here. Okay, so let me kind of show these to you up close here. If you can see, see relatively close. All right, so the left one over here is the um, Hero Arts, and then, and then the right is the Lawn Fawn. And if you can tell, hopefully I'm getting a really good picture on that for you guys. They really are about the same, really. I mean, they're both really bright white. They fill in pretty well on the swatch whenever I stamped it down and then it, um, coated it with my powder onto my stamp. It really does co it is coated well. And once I heat set that, it really does make, really make it smooth. It's not really uh, grainy too much. There is a little bit of pieces. It's hard to tell on camera. There is a little bit of pieces of my stamp that are not fully filled in but that's not no big deal at all because you could totally fix that with a white gel pen or go back in um, 
uh, you know, with um, like a Versamarker pen, and then uh, add your Versamarker pen, which you don't, if you don't know what that is, it's this here. It's like basically a pen form of the Versamark. Go ahead and fill, uh, mark the areas where it didn't fill in, add some more embossing powder, and then re re reset it uh, with your heat tool, and you're good to go. So, really, really good embossing powders. I think that they're about pretty much the same. So, either one, you really couldn't go wrong. So let me go ahead and do the rose gold next. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just prep my little cardstock pieces here. Again, ink up my little stamp. I'm going to go ahead and do the left side with the Summonsa stamp and then the right side with the Lawn Fawn. So the Lawn Fawn. It's going to be on the right hand side here. Such a pretty color. I probably didn't get it stamped down the greatest. That's on me. So <laughs> don't pay attention too much to my stamping ability here, I guess. Obviously, this is just for video purposes. It's not going on a card or anything like that. So here's the Summon Says stamp, and you can see, as I've been saying, it's obviously much darker, much different um, embossing powder to start out with. So let me go ahead and heat set these as well. Okay, so you can see right off that there is a difference. Um, in, the, in the end, you do have that iridescence of the rose gold, but um, I would say that the Lawn Fawn is a true rose gold. Um, either Both of them are obviously very pretty, and I like both of them. But if you're looking for a really true rose gold, definitely the Lawn Fawn is. Um, hopefully you can catch the, the little sheen and shimmer of that. It's obviously a much um, lighter, like a really light, light pink. And with the iridescence of the gold. And then this one here is a much darker, it's almost like a mauve. Uh, and then you can see the gold sheen to that. So there's the two comparison. Both are very, very, very um, nice and very well, good quality. Nothing wrong with either one of them. They both, like I said, ignore my stamping ability. I didn't get it all the way stamped here. But you can kind of really see the, the comparison there of, of um, the two, especially between these two, um, the color difference there. And then the white is basically the same. Either one is great and they're both bright white so either one that you want to pick up would be uh, really good to have. So so I hope that helps you out guys. I just wanted to do that comparison for those that had asked me to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video here on YouTube and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.